definitely use this. Is this gonna work? Aha! Stay. What's up, guys? We got packages. Packages everywhere. That's not a package, but you, you know what's going on here. What's up, Aaron Scott? How are you doing? What's up, Wes? I'm gonna wait till some people get in here and we'll start opening some stuff. There's five packages. And then this was a raffle win. I haven't really talked about this yet. Zero cavities. I never have cavities. What's up, Honest Diecast? How are you doing? Doing a little mail call. We got, this is from Phoenix Diecast. This is from Devon's Diecast. Uh, vintage Drop Shop. This is a, this is a trade. And this is a Mattel Creations order. You guys find anything? You guys go hunting today? I know Wes did, he's back in town, finally. I lost my PayPal years ago due to raffles. Real, what happened? I'm lucky, the people, that I, the people that do the raffles, I know them in town, so I don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. What's up, Gucci Grape? Uh, where can, Instagram is where I do mine. Um, you just have to, you have to find people that are trustworthy. That's the only hard thing. Um, but like I said, my buddies in town that I know, like from hunting, they do raffles. So I got kind of lucky. I don't have to worry about getting scammed or anything. If you guys want though, if you want good references of people who do raffles, message me on Instagram. It's Hutch Hunts underscore and I can send you guys good raffle people. They don't like it since it's gambling. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine though. I don't know, that's just me. Everyone has a different opinion about it. <coughs> Wait till a couple more people get in here and we'll start. They had almost two sets of the 124 Chase you gave me at the wall. At, I've, I saw those, they're on the top shelf, right? There's like eight of them on the top shelf. The Chase, the, the one that I gave you. Yo, Hutch, trade me a Super Supra. I only have two right now, and I've traded a couple away. I sold one. I traded a couple away. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to hold on to these. I only have two, though. I just not like I have a ton. PayPal doesn't like friends and family transactions because they're cracking down. Yeah, I see what you're saying. PayPal doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But at the same time, like, if there's people who enter raffles and they lose and they go and, like, try and get their money back to PayPal, even though they know the consequences of raffles, like, that's kind of on the person, that's, that's on the person who enters the raffle. It's on the, I don't know. That super, that super is an amazing casting. I know. That, that actually might be what's in this bag. <laughs> Let's just start. Let's just start. We've got some people in here. All right. So, first of all, this is a raffle win. <coughs> Um, from my buddy Knight.Rides on Instagram. He lives in town. Um, he did a raffle. It was 30 by 10. And if you guys know how raffles work, it's $30 a spot and there's 10 spots. Um, but they also open up minis and minis are a cheaper option for raffles. So if you don't want to spend $30 for a spot, they open up a mini. You have to win the mini raffle and then you have to, to get into the main and then you have to win the main to win the raffle, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit harder that way, but... So it's also illegal raffles, but so PayPal loves go by the book. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I haven't had any issues with it, so I'm not too worried. All right, this was the raffle win. <coughs> this is a super cool one because I actually didn't have a couple of things in this raffle. Um, so it was, first of all, this here. Super clean, Supra. I love this one. I never found this, I don't think, actually. Yeah, no, I never found this. 
But I have the other, like, I have the Boulevard Supra, the red one from, I think it was called, like, Cruisin' Boulevard or something. So that was the first thing in the raffle. And then there was this. You'll see a theme as I show you. There's four items that I got. You'll see a theme as I continue. Yeah, I used to do raffles for years. I remember um, winning a greeny Silverado back when it was a grand head fella. Oh, grand shirt. Oh, jeez. That's crazy, dude. I'm sorry. Amazing. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't... What greeny are you talking about? You just graduated from whatnot university? That's nuts. I can't wait till your first show. It's gonna be good stuff. Yeah, that's crazy, Aaron. I'm sorry, dude. So yeah, these are the first couple things. There's two more things that are the big boys, but you'll see a theme. Let me show you these other items. First of all, bam. Let me take it out of the protector. <coughs> bam. Toyota Supra Super. This was from 2014, I think. Um, super clean one. The card is in pretty good condition, I guess. Um, this corner is a little soft. Um, there's a little bit of like, a little bit of wrinklage going on down here, but still super clean. A little bit also, a little couple dings on the top here, but I mean, it's for my personal collection. I'm not too worried. And if anything happens to the card, I'll just open it up. Because I've been really thinking about opening some stuff. Like having one of every single super open and one of every single super in the package. So that's nice. I would like to get the main line of this because this is obviously the super. I want the main line though to go with it. That's that item. I'm gonna put it back in the protector. <coughs> You're going live on whatnot tonight, Wes? The only greeny Sylvie. I, yeah, I mean, I still don't know what it looks like. Used to have that super unspun, wish I still had it. It is, it is just cardboard, you're right. <laughs> open them, life can be short. I know, dude, that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna open, I'm not gonna open this right now, but I think I'm gonna open like, one of each super, have each, one of each card and get a cool display case. Honest Diecast, he has a nice display in his streams. And Lamley, I love his display. He just has like a, it's like an acrylic one that he has on the wall and it's it's like a mirrored back. That'd be so cool. Um, doing a test stream tonight. I don't know if I'm going to sell, but I'm gonna start tomorrow or Saturday for sure. Weston, if you do the test stream, send me the link to the test stream if you want, you don't have to. But that way I could like watch and help you if you have any questions. Um, the convention green chrome one, probably 1500 piece by now. Oh, you're not, you're, you're talking about Hot Wheels. I thought you were, you said greeny. So I thought you were talking about a green machine. You're talking about Hot Wheels, right? My next right now to open is going to be the Stew Baker from last year or maybe Gold Acura. Which one should I crack? Crack the Stew Baker. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Acuras. I know exactly which super you're, the NSX, I know exactly which one you're talking about. I would crack the Studebaker. All right, last item, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm delaying. There we go. Card on this one's perfect. I already checked this one out when I got it. What's up, Green Laser? How are you doing? Yeah, the Greeny still be hot. Okay, Aaron, I know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about green machine, like, like green light. <laughs> Cause you said greeny, sorry. Yeah, here we go. Card on this one is perfect. Again, super treasure hunt. This is like the fourth or fifth one I've had um, in my hands. But like I said, I've traded a couple away. I actually did a cool trade and I'll talk about it more. But basically what I did, my friend in LA needed one of these. Um, so, I told him, I was like, I'll send you this, send me another super, just, I don't care which one, because they, they, I think it was a, it's Miss JDM Collects on Instagram, but I'm trying to think, they had a Mercedes, she had a, some other supers, they weren't as valuable as this one, so I told her, just give me one of those supers, I don't care which one, I'll send you the Supra, 
Um, she's going to the Hot Wheels convention in LA though in October. So I told her, as long as you just get me a set for retail, I'll pay you back, then we're good. So super excited, she, she's awesome. Um, I caught the M2 Sprite hauler chase today. Nice, dude. Are you talking about the, the dually one or just the regular? Is it, I think it's like a Ford truck. Yeah, I'm excited to get those convention cars. And I don't know if you guys have seen the convention cars, but one of them is a one of them's a 454SS, one of them's a Cobra R, an orange Cobra R, and one of them's a BMW M5, I believe. They're pretty cool. If you know who has one on bad card, let me know. Uh, a Supra? Are you talking about a Supra on a bad card? Because I think I, I do know someone that has a Supra on a bad card. But... Um, I think he, it's either pending trade or something like that. So I'd have to ask him, but dude, Leo's Leo's, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and message me. That's the best place to get a hold of me. It's Hutch Hunt underscore. You can message me there. All kinds of stuff. All right. That was the first thing. <coughs> Raffle win. Sorry. I'm going kind of slow. I need to get my coffee. You know what's going on here. Who, what, what's your name on, uh, Leo's, what's your Instagram name? All right, I'm going to save this for last. For I'm s This box, right, I had to open it. But this is what I'm most, I haven't looked. I just had to open it because he said he sent me something extra. So I wanted to see what else. Oh, okay, Kevin Kelly. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember now. I just didn't make the connection. <laughs> This one I'm also really excited about. Is that the one from, yeah. All right, let's start. I guess let's start with this one. Check it out though. <laughs> what is that? If you guys don't know, um, and if you guys don't order from Mattel Creations, this is a Mattel Creations box. Um, I'm not gonna, you probably know what it is. I'm not gonna say though, but listen. Like it's just, it's just flying around. No insulation whatsoever. Like the tape, the tape is just coming off. Huge, like what is this? Let me open it and show you what I'm talking about. This knife is super dull. I need to get a, I need to get a new knife. All right, check this out. So this is what this is. I'm sure you guys maybe ordered one. This is nice. Oh, wow. Like I said, all this stuff is my first time seeing it, so I have not seen it. Okay, I will say they did use more bubble wrap this time because last time I ordered one of these, the car was, look at this. Look at how big this box is compared to the car. You could use a box half the size. And then look. This is what they did last time. This is a joke. This is what they did last time. A box this size with one RLC car and one bubble wrap thing. So this time they actually used some freaking bubble wrap, which is nice. <laughs> but I've talked a lot about Mattel's packing. It's terrible. They need to do something about it. But this is amazing. Let me take out the protector. This is cool. I actually, <coughs> these were on pre-order for a while. I ordered one of them um, and I kind of regretted not getting more. So I went back on Mattel Creations like two days later and I ordered two more. So I might end up opening one of these. Check that out. You can't really see cause there's like a glare, but there's like these super cool like 15 spoke wheels. They're different sizes. The ones in the front are smaller than the, there's a huge glare, I'm sorry. The paint is amazing. This thing is cool. This thing is cool. I might have to, I might have to crack one of these when I get my other two. That thing is nice. The back, you got the little window there to see the car. That's cool. So detailed. I wish, I wish this was, I wish you guys could see it better. I don't want to crack it until I get my other ones because I want to see which one is better. 
the Chase looks like a greenie, but it's an M2. It is a 1969 Chevrolet Silverado. Okay, it is the 4x4, so it's the dually one. Yeah, that's a cool one. Congrats, Green Laser. One of my buddies actually found that, and he was wanting to trade me. I passed on it, but such an awesome casting. Yeah, this thing is cool. And I just like the idea of, like, the removable stuff. Like, you can take off the, the glass, you can take off the wing, you can take off the bumper. That's just so cool, in my opinion. And I'm glad Mattel is venturing into, like, Liberty Walk. Like, obviously, they've had that license for a while, but they haven't made it, like, look as good as this does. That's nice. Wow. All right. I was gonna wait. I have like three more packages on the way, maybe four. I was gonna wait till I got those, but I really didn't want to wait any longer. Um, I really didn't want to wait any longer. <laughs> and one of the packages coming is just two more of those 864 cars, so. All right, next box. I'll do this one. Uh, how much are those? Uh, this was $20 on Mattel Creations. Uh, Laser, are you part of um, the RLC club for Hot Wheels or no? What's up, Carlos? How are you doing? Hot Wheels dipping into the premium. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Something about that is just amazing. The little Liberty Walk license right there. So Green Laser, this is how it works. So RLC, Hot Wheels RLC Club is $10 for a whole year, right? Now what that allows you to do is that doesn't really get you anything. That allows you to buy the RLC cars that Mattel drops throughout the year. What's up, Monkey Bros? How you doing? We're just doing a little unboxing. Got some packages in the mail. Got four more to open. We just opened one and we looked at a raffle win. Um, but yeah, green laser. So it's $10 for a year. That allows you to, to, to purchase the RLC cars that come out throughout the year. This one, I don't think you had to have a, a membership for, but basically you just go on MattelCreations.com. They announce on Instagram when they're doing a drop and you just buy them. So this was 20 bucks. It is expensive. For instance, like a regular premium like this is like $7 at the store. This is 20 but the quality is better, the packaging is nicer, you get a protector included. So a little bit expensive. Some of the RLC cars can range anywhere from 20 to like $35. So they are expensive, but I mean, they're nice, they're nice. I would get some of my other uh, RLCs out and show you some more examples, but I don't know if I have too much time. Um, it gives you a chance at the cars, exactly. It gives you a chance to buy the RLC cars that they they released throughout the year. Yeah, cheaper than 143s, exactly. And I don't really like 143s, so I'd rather spend $20 and get a really cool 164 than buy a, than buy a 143. That I don't, I don't really collect that size. Or even one, 124, like I don't collect that size either. I'd rather pass on a cool M2 thing and buy something really cool on a scale that I actually like. Can't you take the car out without ripping the package? No. This one, you can't. Um, you're, you're able to with the 143s, but these ones, like see, like it's a, it's a card. It's like this. It's just a blister glued on the card. Yeah, these ones you can't, unfortunately. If I was able to, I would, because I want to open that thing. All right, next box, let's do it. This is from, I blacked everything out, so it's kind of hard to tell. This is from a Vintage Drop Shop on Whatnot, though. Shout out to Vintage Drop Shop. He's a pretty big Whatnot streamer. <coughs> um, he actually just got like a new, uh, like a new warehouse almost that he does his streams from. I think he streams on YouTube now too. Thanks, Monkey Bros, I appreciate it, dude. Make a lot of Hot Wheels videos. Um, all right, let's do it. I already know what this is. It's a, it's a giveaway win. I haven't seen it in person. I don't even really remember what it looks like. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's cool. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. <coughs> what is this from? Hot Wheels Custom Classics. I don't even know what year this is from. Oh, it's on the bottom. 2006, 2007. That thing is cool. Hot Wheels Custom Classics. 32 Ford Sedan. It looks kind of big, but it's so detailed. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn this. Hold on. Let me turn this a little bit so there's not as much glare. Maybe this will help. Um, check this out. Uh, doesn't really on the back there, there's some, you barely see that red spot. That's some really cool pinstriping. Man, this is cool. Like I said, this was a giveaway win from the Vintage Drop Shop on Whatnot. If you guys haven't signed up for Whatnot, it's free. It's, it's awesome. You find some crazy cool stuff on there. I do streams, so if you want to watch me more, I do streams on there too. Yeah, this is like... I wish it set a scale on here. Ford. It doesn't, that's so weird. It doesn't say a scale. Look, let me give you a little comparison though. Maybe it's 164. It just seems, it just seems big. Like the length is right, but like it just seems bigger. I don't know. That's so cool though. That's awesome. I really like that. I don't, I didn't, like I said, I don't really even remember what this looked like until right now. <laughs> but, uh, might have to Google it, but Hot Wheels isn't true 160. No, I know. Yeah, Hot Wheels is nowhere close to 164. That's so, like, the, even the engine, like, just look at the, I wish you could see it in person. The engine's metal. It looks metal, at least. Maybe it's not. That is so cool. That would be a cool opener. Oh, here we go. Custom classics brings hot rods to the next level. Custom rims, airbag suspension. Our versions of these cult favorites all ride. Uh, our do sports a... Huh. I guess in the series, there's there's two series. There's a Bel Air, there's a 65 Buick Riviera, a Pontiac Bonneville, Ford Galaxy, a Cadillac. And this would be a cool set to get. Crack it? No, not right now. Maybe. No, not right now. That is cool though. All right, next box, what do we got? <coughs> I'm trying to keep my stuff organized. There's a bone shaker? Oh, there is. Bone Shaker, Ford Model A. And then this is the 32 Ford Sedan. That Impala, I'm sure, looks awesome. The Cadillac probably looks awesome. The Bel Air. I'm going to have to Google that. I'm going to have to Google that set. All right, let's do the next box. I'm going to have this upload as like a video afterwards. So I'm going to save this small two. These two are what I'm most excited for. So I'm going to get into this big one next. Now this one took a little bit of a hit. Um, this is from Phoenix Diecast um, on Whatnot. He's awesome, I've been talking with him. He's actually opening a store up um, in Illinois, September 9th, I think it is. So that'll be cool. I'm gonna, might make a video going down to Illinois, going to his store, that would be cool. What's up Russ, how are you doing? Just opening some packages. Hey, I found today a case that should have the Ducati treasure hunt, but didn't, why? And it was, Fresh because I opened it. So Robert, I've had the same issue. I've opened probably, sorry, I'm playing with this knife. I've opened probably 15 H cases. Maybe not opened them fresh, but saw fresh assortments or opened a fresh box. And I've only found like five treasure hunts, the Ducati. I don't know why that's happening. It's just that treasure hunt though. So I wonder, I kind of think because in the H case, there's a couple other motorcycles. There's a Honda Cafe and there's another Ducati. Uh, it's called Ducati Desert X. And that's a white motorcycle. So I think what's happening is when 
they are packaging these H cases at the factory, they're accidentally throwing in another motorcycle instead of putting the Trevor Hint in. I think that's what's happening. So Robert, you're not the only person who's had that issue. Been seeing a ton of that. Yeah, yep, it's not only you, Robert. Um, an eBay listing said they're 150. Huh, so this is 150 scale? That would make sense though, because it doesn't look 164. It definitely looks bigger. And I know when Mattel, like years ago, Mattel was making a lot of different scales. They made like one, um, 183, I think it was. So they've had some weird scales that they've done. So, all right, this is from Phoenix Diecast. As you can see, this box did take a hit. This is a big box. I don't know if you guys can, like this is a big box. There's only, I think, four cars in here, unless he sent me extra stuff. I really don't know. But yeah, took a hit from USPS majorly. I already cut it open, though, just because I wanted to make sure there was nothing too wrong with it. <coughs> I'm excited for this one. This isn't anything, like, too rare, but it's just some cool stuff that I... Uh... I'm going to stand up. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot that was in there. Awesome. All right, cool. This is, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right, so first of all, this is a giveaway win from Phoenix. I get, I get lucky with giveaways. I will say that. Um, this is a treasure hunt. Uh, let me take a protector real fast. Jeez, what kind of protector is this? There we go. All right, this is a treasure hunt from 2000. So this is an old one. Um, it's called the Lakester. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So check it out. I remember having one of these castings as a kid. It wasn't a treasure hunt, but it was the same casting. But look on the roof. If you kind of see that, that says TH2000. That's kind of cool. The, the treasure hunt logo used to look so different. It's hard to see, but it's almost like a police badge, like a, a like a star. TH2000. And if you can see on the inside, there's actually a hinge. So I think this like opens up. But yeah, pretty cool treasure hunt from 2000. Oh, <laughs> duh. It says the date, the year right there. That's cool. Card is pretty good for being 23 years old. Card's in pretty good condition. Not my favorite like casting, but it's still cool to have a treasure hunt from that long ago. <laughs> this protector's a little tight. Um, a different listing said 143 for one, so I'm not sure, but it's, yeah, I, I think I agree with you, Laser. It's definitely not 164. Um, you can find two treasure hunts in one case because some people said that they found two in one case. Is it true? You know, Robert, personally, I've never found two regular treasure hunts in a case. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's happened before, but personally, I've never found two regular treasure hunts in a case, No. Yeah, that's super cool. Like I said, that was a giveaway win, so that was a free item, but still really cool. Next up, we got, take out the bubble wrap. Yeah, no, I've never found two regular treasure hunts. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I've obviously found cases without a treasure hunt, but never with two, no. How many super treasure hunts do you have from this year? I've found probably like 40 to 45 from this year. Um, I don't have them all though because I trade my stuff pretty fast. So like either from people in town or people from the YouTube videos, usually if I do people or if I do trades with people from the channel, um, I'll have them send the stuff first. That way I can show the trade off and then I'll send the stuff back. Um, but yeah, I'd say, yeah, probably 40 to 45. Because I found six 
Mercedes. I never found the Bat, the A case one, the Batmobile. I never found it. I had to trade for that. I found probably six Mercedes, um, four Camaros. So that's ten from just two Supers. So yeah, I'd probably say forty to forty-five. I found only one. I I'm lucky though. I have quite a bit of time to be able to hunt. Um, I do have a job, but uh, it's at like in the evening, so I hunt in the morning a lot, and if I don't work, then I go to Walmarts. I found three super treasure hunts in 10 years, two of them being in the last six months, now that I hunt more. Yeah, exactly. And I've said this in my past live streams, you have to be consistent, and if you're not, like, you're not gonna find anything. Because if you think about it, if you only go like twice a week, three times a week hunting, like the chances of a store getting a shipment or having a fresh assortment out on the two or three times you go a week is so much less than if you go every day, obviously. So you have to be consistent. All right, next item. This is another treasure hunt. Um, let me open this real quick. Get out of the package so I can show you guys. This is a cool one too. It's another old one. All right, this is from 2005. It's another treasure hunt. Um, these old treasure hunts, though, did have rubber tires. It's hard to tell, but rubber tires. It's not a super or anything. Um, it's just a regular treasure hunt. Same thing here on the back. Kind of see that. There's the TH logos on the back right there. Yo, what's up, Krypton? How are you doing? Doing a little mail call. Yeah, but for me, it's not like that because in my country, Romania, it's like two to three shops that have Hot Wheels and I need to wait for the reason. Oh, you're from... Okay, okay. See, that's different. That's a lot harder to find because I know some people that live like in Malaysia and Indonesia and stuff and they like, they, they've told me about it. So basically like they have a huge line, like people line up and they allow you to go in but you can only choose like two or three cars and then you have to leave. Like you can't spend as much time, buy as much stuff as you want. Like it's a lot different. So yeah, that's crazy. Um, so they were half super. Yeah, exactly. Green. They were like, a. it's like a half super. So it's a treasure hunt, but it has rubber tires. So maybe this was before super treasure hunts existed. I don't, I really don't know. I should have done more research. But yeah, the card on this one is pretty good. Little soft corners. I mean, it is, what What did I say, 2005? 18 years old, so. But this one was cool. I think I got this for like five bucks and it has rubber tires. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> but super cool casting. Base is metal. It looks like this outer brown piece is plastic, but still really cool. All right. That's that. We got two more things in this box and we got two other packages. Oh, I see right here it shows all the other shows all the other treasure hunts that you can collect. Why am I just closing? There was a purple passion, 67 Camaro, 58 Corvette, 57 Chevy, 56 Flash Cider, 34 three window. Mustang Mach 1, 67 Pontiac GTO, Roger Dodger, Mini Cooper, 1970 Barracuda, and then a Double Demon. Again, that was from uh, Phoenix Diecast. He has some cool, some cool stuff. If you guys don't follow him and whatnot, do it. All right, last two things in this box are some premiums. Let me take off these stickers. These are both premiums that I really needed that I didn't have. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm behind on the chat. Yo, Hutch, I've been on a super treasure hunt for nine months, found zero, but found four treasure hunts in the UK, not much restock. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm, that sucks, dude. Love the wheels on that one. Wish they would do more like that. Yeah, me too. Those are the white walls, everything. What's the value of a treasure hunt from 2000? Um, like I said, I think I bought this for like five bucks. So they're not that expensive. Um, I don't, maybe I just got a good deal on it. I'm not too sure. 
but I don't think they're too expensive. I just liked the car. I thought it was cool. What's up, devs? How are you doing, brother? Just doing a little unboxing. Um, so cool that it shows the rest of TH on the back of the card. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It was just completely different back then. Like, they don't have... I don't think they had Supers then. Maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, before Supers existed, the T-Hunch... Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's what, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, then they started calling them Supers and made regular treasure hunts without rubber tires. I, I, uh, I like how they do it now. This gives you something more to hunt for. What is on my arm? Oh, the sticker. <laughs> Um, I got in some Sterling protectors the other day and I've started carrying one around in my car. So I have one if I hit a super, that's a good idea. Um, Sterling's are good. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're definitely thicker. Um, a little bit better quality. I do not like these Hot Wheels ones. These Hot Wheels ones are terrible because it doesn't give enough room around the super. So like sometimes the corners get a little bent or pinched. And I don't like that. But yeah, Sterling's are really good. Um, also treasure hunts were their own series and not mixed in other series. That's yeah. I'm glad they changed it to how they do it today. Cause I don't, I don't like that. All right. This is the next one. This one is an older car culture premium. I need to finish this set. This is, this is a cool set. So this is the, uh, Mercedes Benz. What is it? 15, oh, 190 E. I don't know. I just love the livery on this one. The Project Cars livery. Blacked out, gray rims. Super cool. This was before they had um, premium chases in the car culture line. This was from 2018. So yeah, super cool. I love these older Mercedes. These are so nice. Other cars in the set. Um, I want this Porsche. I want the BMW and I want that the R8. I don't have any in this set. This is the first one in this series that I've gotten. I got a really good deal on it. Super good deal, so I was happy about that. All right, next up. This is amazing too. I'm so excited about this one. Uh, how many soups do you have in total? I don't know, Robert, I'd have to count. <coughs> I could probably show you. Um, if I had to guess, I'd probably say like 50 to 60, but that's just in my collection. I Like I said, I've, I've found, definitely found a ton more than that, but I've, I've traded all of them away. If I ever find a duplicate of a super, I usually save it so I can do a super for super trade um, just in case I can't find a super or, um, sometimes I'll just keep my duplicates cause supers are hard to find. So it's kind of nice keeping your extras. Cause like it shows what you've accomplished hunting, you know, what's your dream car? Mine is a Mercedes CLA or Mercedes M30 or E30. I'm tired. So I can't remember. That's a hard question. Um, I kind of want to say like a, an R34 or maybe an S15. Um, I would say something like Lamborghini or something like that, but, uh, I don't know. Those are just, those are kind of very hard to get. <laughs> I'd probably say like an R34, maybe a Mark IV Supra. I don't know. I have a lot of cars I like. I don't think I have one dream car. There's a lot that I like. All right, let me take this sticker off and I'll show you what we got next here. This is, this is a nice one. Hello, why can I not get this off? Uh, just a tip at auto parts stores, ask them if they have any in the back. Sometimes they'll have older premiums that aren't around anymore stuffed in a box. Yeah, I don't usually go to auto parts stores just because at least in my area, People who work at the auto parts stores all collect. So I have had zero luck at them. Um, and I've just heard other bad experiences too. Um, so I don't tend to go too often. Like if I know they're getting stuff in, then I'll, then I'll maybe go, but usually I don't go. My dad's trim car is an R34. Yeah, I've seen some clean R34s. I, yeah. All right, this is the next one. Oh, I just noticed there's a little creasage on this one. 
This is the next one. Street Tuners S2000. There is a little... I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Maybe. If I can get the lighting. Little crease. You see that crease right there? Little crease. It's not... You don't really notice it that much. Other than that, though, the card's literally perfect. This was from um, 2020, I believe. Street Tuners. I have... The S15. Um, the only other card in the set I want is the BRZ. This this one, this is my for sure favorite card from the set. That's so clean. The wheels on there. Yeah, that's a nice premium. I think I got a really good deal on this too. I think I got it for like 20 bucks. And I think on eBay for just this car, it's like at least 30. <laughs> That's, ooh, I got a protector, I forgot. That's a nice one. Uh, all right, let's get on to the next package here. Let's clean up a little bit. <coughs> all right, next one. Goo Gun is good for getting off stick, yeah. I use Goo Gun a lot. I think uh, a lot of the stuff that I get from Hobby Lobby, I have to use Goo Gun on because Hobby Lobby is insane. What's today? I need to go to Hobby Lobby today, I forgot. It's truck day. Yeah, I use Hobby Lobby, at, or wait, what? <laughs> I use Hobby Lobby. I use Goo Gun a lot on the Hobby Lobby stuff. All right, this is from Devon's Diecast on Whatnot. He is another cool seller. He actually lives like an hour and a half away from me. Um, do I open my cars or keep them closed? I keep them in the package mainly. I have a couple loose cars. Um, I don't know. I just, it's hard to collect loose stuff because it's harder to like keep them organized and I don't know, unless you get like a cool protector or like a cool case. Um, Marion, you're a noob, dude. I'm not the noob. We're all noobs actually. Just join to the live. What are you going to do with your extra Super Supra? Um, I'm holding on to it for now. I traded one away and I found two. I don't know. I'm probably going to hold on to it for now. Hutch, do you think anyone would trade a Super for four treasure hunts and like a bunch of cars? I mean, maybe. Um, I don't know. I think... Ethan... If you find someone that really, like, if, say they have a super that they don't like, um, I would say you could you could do that if they, like, want the extra cars or if they're cool cars that you could trade. Maybe someone would do that. You just have to find the right person, though. Truck day. Thursday. Truck day. What's up, Drake? Daily reminder to not be racist. All right, like I said, Devon's diecast. Supras are overrated. Yeah. I mean, if you don't, if you don't like JDM, then yeah, they're overrated. Yeah, of course, Ethan. Just ask around. Like I said, I'm sure someone would. You just have to find the right person. Yeah, I think, personally, Drake, I think Supras are overrated. But at the same time, I think it's just a, like, it's just a hype train. Like, people in... Like, that's where they started was Japan. And then people, like, in the U.S. and stuff got to, like, saw Supras and, like, oh, people love this. And it's also a price thing. Like, they're so expensive. People like expensive or stuff that's worth a lot. So, I agree. I think they're overrated a little bit. Um, but what are you going to do? All right. Here we go. Open this one up. No, I have to cut this. I should grab some scissors. The Mark IV Supra is not overrated. Yeah, I don't know. It depends. On, I mean, it, it just depends on who you talk to. People who don't like JDM stuff are gonna they're gonna call stuff overrated. I like JDM. I love JDM. Come on. Jeez, there we go. It's actually funny you guys are talking about Supras. 
Because check this out. <laughs> it's a Mark IV Supra. <laughs> yeah, the Mark IV Supra is not overrated. The Mark, the new Supra is overrated. I don't like that one at all. It's nice, but I don't know. If I were to get a Supra, I would get a Mark IV for sure. Uh, sorry, I'm the chat. I need to scroll up a little bit. Uh, Robert, the GT500 Shelby Super, I like that one. It's nice. I found two of those. It's a nice one. Um, do you know when the new Fast and Furious premium set is going to release uh, with me as Integra, like for Canada and US? I don't know, dude. I would assume soon because we haven't seen new premiums, at least near me, in a while. So I would assume those are going to come soon. Yeah, Mark IV is an icon. This is a Mark IV right here. This is nice. This is an ultra red, as you can tell. Um, I don't know what year this is from. This 2021, I believe. Um, but this one's cool. I like this one because the newer Supra, this one doesn't have a wing, as you can tell. It's just a clean factory, no wing, just plain Mark IV Supra. And it's an ultra red. So you got a red base, you got red, red interior, red car, but the wheels are plain, so. This is a cool one. This, um, I just like knowing the value of things. On eBay, this is like 40 bucks, I think, and I got it for $20 on Whatnot. So you get some steals on Whatnot. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have Whatnot, you need to get Whatnot. It's free. Um, what do you think I could trade a Surf Crate Super Treasure Hunt from 2017 for? Uh, I found it in my garage randomly yesterday, and I guess I got it as a kid, not realized what it was, not interested in it because it was a fantasy. I don't know. Um, that Again, you would just have to talk around. Personally, when I do trades, I search the value of my item, and then I figure out something that I want that's the same value. And it, I mean, since it's a surf crate, I don't think that would be worth too much. But I mean, personally, if I had that and I were you, I would even trade it for a cool premium. Like if it were something like this that I didn't have, like I would trade that super for a cool premium that I don't have. Um, Krypton, that's funny though, because I actually had the same thing happen to me. I, um, I had a huge bin of loose cars from when I was a kid, right? And I was looking through them the other day, just deciding which ones like I should throw out, which ones I should keep. And I found a super treasure hunt in my loose cars. It was from 2012, it's a Camaro Z28. It's worth like 60 bucks, brand new in package, obviously. But I literally, I had no clue, I was 12. I didn't know what a super was. My mom didn't know what a super was. Like, what are the chances that me as a 12 year old kid would grab a car, how rare super treasure hunts are, and I grabbed the super, like that's just so crazy. My mom was probably like, you can pick one car, like, you, like that's how, that's what parents do to their kids. You can get one, and I chose the super. That's insane. Do you think somebody will trade um, the Mercedes Super Treasure Hunt for Shelby 500 Super Treasure Yeah, I'm sure. If they haven't found the Mercedes and they need it, I'm sure they would. I don't like the, the one headlight up, one headlight down with the newest Super model. Yeah, the Ultra Red's clean. I like this one a lot. I got a great deal on it too. Found one of these in my town at Hot. Oh, you found the same one, Ryan? That's awesome. It's a cool one. Hey Hutch, could I ask for a tip regarding hunting and how to get more luck hunting my local Walmart or something? Yeah, ask away, Grandmaster Brito. Yeah, about Auto World and M2 and all of them. They don't sell them here. And then they Hot Wheel and Maxbox or we are major at. Yeah, um, I think M2 and Auto World are just a US thing. Um, they're getting big though. So I wouldn't be surprised if they venture out into other countries soon. Um, I was really excited about Run and Run set, but my Walmart never got it. You know, Senti, that happened to me too. Um, Ronin Run never really hit my area. It went to targets a little bit, but normally like when we get premiums, we get a lot and I didn't really see any. So when are you doing your next whatnot? Um, I'm not sure yet, Raza. I leave for LA tomorrow. I'm just gonna be gone three days. So I'll get back Sunday. I might do a show next week. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. I gotta think about it. I gotta go through some stuff too. Yeah, bro, I hunt Supras so much. Yeah, I uh, wasn't really a, too big of a fan of them until I started collecting diecast, and now I love them. Checking the wheels on here, because sometimes on auto worlds, like if you look at them from the bottom, you can tell like one wheel's like angled. 
which isn't good. I don't like that. Because when you take it out of the package and you roll it, it, it's like bumpy. But this one looks perfect. That's so clean. I can't get over that. 20 bucks too. That's crazy. All right. Let's get into... <coughs> we got one more package. This is the one that I'm excited for. I already opened it because, like I said, he sent me something extra, so I had to see what else he sent me. Um, are you going to go to the Mattel store in LA? I was thinking about it, Krypton. But what I was told is that I guess they open at 11 o'clock and people start lining up at like 8 a.m. every day. Um, and they give you like a QR code you have to scan and then they let people go in like one at a time. And it, if you're taking premiums, you can get like one set. But if you're taking main lines, you can take like as much as you want or something. I don't know. Um, have you gotten the eight car set of the old cars yet? Uh, what are you, what are you referring to, Senti? One tip, especially at Walmart, check every day. Yeah. Yep. Like I said, you have to be consistent. Uh, my wife collects Miatas and I've been looking for the Boulevard Miata. I have the Boulevard Miata. I think I, uh, I don't know if I have an extra cause I've, I've sold a couple of those on my whatnot. I might have an extra. If I do, I'll pull it out and do it in my next my next whatnot show. But yeah, Green Laser, you're completely right. You have to be consistent. That's what I was saying earlier. If you miss one day, that's when they could bring stuff out. So, all right, let's do it. Last package. <coughs> the first item is just pretty small. Zamac. Ooh, hold on, real fast. This is from. Um, I forget the Instagram name. Let me look real quick. Hold on one sec, guys. Um, Nick underscore daddy 30 on Instagram. Um, it's actually a dad and his son that collect. Um, so shout out to Isaac and Micah. Shout out to you, Micah. Um, he watches the videos. Um, but yeah, this is from them. Uh, this is a Zamac Matt and Debbie Hayes. This came with the uh, Cool Combi Zamac which these never hit my area. So this Zamac and the, um, the E-Case Zamacs never hit my area. This and the, the Combi. I had to trade for some Combis because I really wanted that one. So they sent me this as just a little extra something, but this is what we actually traded for. <laughs> um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a cream colored car with blue and red on it. Cream colored card with blue and red on it. Uh, eight car set of the old. I don't know, Senti. You'd have to send me a picture on Instagram because I'm not too sure what you're talking about. I still can't find the Porsche Zamac. Oh, the new, the the Tycon or Tacon, whatever. All right, I'm excited to see this in person because I haven't seen this yet. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. This thing is nice. I traded, um, I traded a, uh, a Lotus Aviha Super Treasure Hunt and a couple Zamac Civics for this one here. Johnny Lightning, White Lightning, Tin. This thing is cool. One of 7,148 White Lightning, Tin. A lot of the Tin White Lightnings aren't like this. Like it'll just be like one panel that's white or something. But this one, it's one of the ones that the full car is white. So this thing is, wow. Kind of weird. It's like an error almost. The blister is like, the blister is like not straight. It's like tilted this way some, but I don't care. This thing is amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'm blown away. I need more white lightnings. Yeah, this is, this is sweet. How much would be a good price for a super, not like a top tier super, like a low tier one? I mean, it did all of them, all of them are different. Which, which one? 
Because, for instance, like like the from this year, the Co- the Mazda Cosmo Sport, I think it's from E Case maybe the orange one, that one is probably only worth like thirty dollars. So literally, like every super has a different price though. Like you would have to give me a, a like a for sure name of this of the super, and I could give you a better price. Yeah, this is this is clean. Also, I finally found some speed machines, but not locally while I was in Hawaii. I, dude, speed machines hit my area like crazy. I found six speed machine chases, the premium chase, because the stores here just kept getting them. Like, it was insane. I would love to find a white lightning. I personally haven't found that many. This is, I found maybe three or four, I think. Um, But I'm happy to have this. Wow. Wow. That is cool. Again, shout out to you, Micah. Shout out to you, Isaac. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the trade. White lightnings are hard. They're very rare. Um, personally, I think they're probably the rarest, like, die-cast chase out of the different brands. Um, I know Auto World is owned by the same company. They're called Round 2. Auto World and Johnny Lightning are both owned by round two, but I still think white lightnings are the hardest to find. That's just our personal experience. I haven't found as many of them, but wow. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't really point this out. That's what the car should look like. It should be red with gray rims. Super cool. I'm happy about that. All right, that was the last one. Um, I've never seen a white lightning in the store at all. Well, dude, they're, they're rare. They're, yeah, they're rare. I could probably go grab the ones that I've personally found. Should I go grab the ones I found? You guys want to see those or no? I've shown them off in videos. If you guys watch the videos, you know, you know which ones I have already. But yeah, this is what we got. This is the little, the little haul here. Some supers, ultra reds, premiums. Treasure hunts, old stuff, RLC. That was a fun little, that was a fun little unboxing. The only Johnnies that I ever see in my stores are the Clues and Scrabbles. Yeah, same here, Razzle. I don't really see many others unless it's a Hobby Lobby. It's usually all those pop culture, Clue, Scrabble. Uh, yeah, all like fantasy cars and stuff. Is there a number issued for white lightning? Is like 750 or 250 or other? Um, oh, the American Steel, the Hot Wheels set. That's a, a yeah, I know what you're talking about, Senti. Uh, I saw those, I found those. I didn't get any though. I'm not into those. I have found those though, Senti. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's, it's just different muscle cars. Um, so for white lightnings and ultra reds, Ultra Reds, I believe it's 3% of the production number. So for instance, this one, they made 14,104. So 3% of this number is how many Ultra Reds? Let me do the math real quick and I can tell you. Specific Ultra Red, there is about 423 of them. So this is one of 423. For Johnny Lightnings, I don't quite know the percentage. Um, maybe it's 3% as well. I wish I knew the percentage. I, I kind of think it's 3% as well. If it is, this is one of 7,148. So let's do the math on this. 3%, like I said, I'm not totally sure, but if it's 3%, this is one of, what was it, 214? Yeah, 214. Yeah. Green Laser, do you know if it's 3% for Johnny Lightnings too? I know it's 3% for Auto Worlds. What's the percentage for these? Um, the clue cars make for good customs. Yeah, because you just strip off. Because a lot of those clue ones have weird, like, artwork on them that I'm not a huge fan of. So you can just strip that off and do a cool custom. Although that one R34 that they did... I think it was a clue car. Was it? 
Maybe it wasn't, but it was it was a blue R34. Um, that one was cool because it was just blue. There was no other painting on it or anything. Being a 12-year-old kid, um, it's harder because my parents don't want to go 24-7, so I probably miss. Yeah, that's, that's hard, Ethan. But just think about it. When you get older and you get your own car, you'll be able to go as much as you want. My favorite was the Pontiac without the hood. Yep, that was a nice one. Also, there was a red one. I don't remember if it was like a Cuda or... I don't remember what it was, but it was like a, a maroon red color. It was super clean. Yeah, Laser, I'm pretty sure it's 3%. I know for sure on Auto World, but not for sure on Johnny, but like pretty sure. It was the Trivial Pursuit. That's right. Yep, the Trivial Pursuit R34. That was a nice one because it was just so clean. All right, well, do you guys have any other questions? Because if not, I'm probably going to end it because I have to pack because I leave tomorrow morning. I have to pack. I got to put all this stuff away. So I got some stuff to do. I've got one open and one on the wall. I opened the one that I bought one of those R34s and I opened it because it was clean. I should have kept it carded. Hutch, do you have the Legends Tour pink Sylvia? Uh, pink Sylvia. Which one are you talking about, Ethan? Am I Pink Sylvia? I don't know if I know what you're talking about. From the Legends Tour. Are you talking about the Silverado? The Pink Silverado? I want to find that raw 1250M2 lift set with the blue laser. That was found at one of the stores that's 20 minutes away from me. And I used to go to that store every day, like at nighttime when I would hunt, but I've kind of stopped recently because that store is really weird with stocking. They don't always stock at night times anymore. They sometimes stock in the mornings, but dude, I went there to that store the day that the person found the raw and it's, it's that it's the, it's the raw, it's a matte, the, the main line is matte blue and it's a Chevy, Chevy truck. He found the raw, he said like, it's on his Instagram. <laughs> and I stopped going to that store because they're weird with stocking. But I went in the morning to that store at like 9 a.m. And um, they usually stock between like 9 and 11 usually. Um, and my friend went there at like 11 o'clock at night and he found the raw sitting on the pegs. So I guarantee you that was put out at probably like 11 in the morning and it was sitting on the pegs until he found it at nighttime, which is crazy. That, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. He was literally there at like 11 or like 1030 at night and he found it. So that thing was probably sitting on the pegs for like hours. Oh, you're talking about the, the Legends Tour R32. I do have that. I do have that, Ethan. I only have one though, so I'm not gonna get rid of it or anything. Oh, jeez, I'm freaking tired. I had to go to the dentist this morning. And the cleaning freaking hurt. I hate the dentist. All right, well, my coffee is now gone. We showed off everything. I'll give you one last little look and I'm gonna end it because I gotta go do some stuff. That is a cool, a cool unboxing. Okay. All right, that was what I was looking for today when I found the Sprite Holler Chase. Yeah, well, at least you got that. That's a cool one. Is the Legends Tour P1800 Gasser rare? Um, are you talking about the main line, the green one, the Volvo P1800 Gasser? Uh, if it's just the main line that I think you're talking about, it's not that rare. Just cause like main lines are pretty easy to find. The, the main line. Yeah, no, it's not, no, it's not really that rare. 
But wait, Ethan, you're in Romania, right? It might be rare in Romania. I have no idea. I just know here, mainlines are so easy to get, so mainlines are never rare. Unless it's like a... I don't know. Like a Zamat Cool Combi. <laughs> but that's not really a mainline, because that's an exclusive. Peace out, Krypton. Thanks for coming in, dude. I'm about to end it, so you're not going to miss anything. All right, I'm going to end it, you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. That was fun. I got to clean up that stuff. Put these cars away. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, should be live on Whatnot maybe next week. If I do, I'll announce it in a video or something. But yeah, peace out, you guys. Thanks for coming in. I will uh, see you guys soon. Peace out.